Hey there, guys. So this really has not been Megan Rapinoe's week. It is not going great. I don't want to kick her while she's down, but it's just really not going great. Before we get into it, guys, thanks to everyone who's been uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. And we really do appreciate the support, guys. It really helps us to grow and get our message out there. And if you haven't already, make sure to do so. Uh, every time you do one of those things, the leftist loses their wings. So anyway. Here's what's going on. Now, I've been pretty open about not being the biggest fan of the U.S. women's soccer team. And, I mean, come on. It is Team America. And you'd think we'd all be rallying behind them. But for many, you know, it feels like this team, they really don't have America's back. You know, which makes supporting them challenging for most people. Because watching soccer, it's not easy. You know, especially at that level. But anyway, I can't think of another time when a U.S. team wasn't wholeheartedly cheered on by literally the entire country let me know in the comments if you can think of one but this has got to be a first man and many see them as basically overconfident and anti-american and then there's rapino and she takes a special place even on that list and she recently displayed some of that overconfidence in a video and here's the deal you know this confidence it doesn't seem earned you know they're yes they're an amazing woman's team but it really feels like they shine because many other countries, they just aren't prioritizing women's soccer like the U.S. does. I mean, let me know if I'm wrong about that. I don't honestly know a lot about soccer, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, it, the whatever the coach, the funny coach on Apple TV. So the one time they played against a male youth team, you guys might remember, they got crushed. And then right after being beaten by a bunch of 15-year-olds, Megan Rapinoe, she's on the record talking about anyone being against a biological male competing for her job is just a bigoted transphobe. Conveniently, she's doing this all while she's retiring. So, anyway. So, recently, an old video from 2019 popped up showing Rapino during the SB Awards uh, with a young fan approaching her. I'm going to play it for you right now. Watch real closely and let me know what you see. What's up, Pooh? Ten, nine. So, guys, did you see that? If you missed it, you know, here's what I saw. She seems a bit just, you know, distracted while she's signing for a young fan. And it looks like she's chatting with someone else and she really just can't be bothered. And the handoff of the ball was nothing I would call enthusiastic. And I get it. You know, everyone has off days. But considering how women's soccer was overlooked for years and the blessing that really she was given with her, you know, fame and her abilities, you know, you'd think that, she would appreciate every single bit of fan love, especially in a room surrounded by cameras. I mean, come on. But maybe it was just a bad moment for her. I don't know. But the clip, it makes it look like she felt too big for the moment. And, you know, Megan, you got to remember, when women's soccer didn't have a spotlight, you know, it does now. You know, you got to act like you know what, like you've been there before. And it's wild to think, you know, how quickly things change. But, you know, everyone does have their peak. And it feels like maybe her major moments, they're winding down. Who knows what kind of, you know, leftist noise, you know, bubble fueling show she's going to end up with on MSNBC or making the rounds or who knows. But I thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share Common Sense Garage. We'll see you in the next one.